Alrighty, let's watch this first here. Got an exercise for a step and walk. Okay, cool. Now I'm checking your mail and you got a question about your foot roll. Let me just see what you did here. I think that's totally fine the way you have it here. You had in your drawing like a further rotation peel off type of thing. It all kind of depends. I think what you have um, and it's not here. You can bring this in quickly. This type of thing. <clears throat> I think what you have in your drawing works both ways. You know, you, you can have something where you only go this far. I think you wouldn't go less like to me, this feels fine because it's a bigger step. The way you have it in your drawing where it's almost kind of like this and then you take the foot off, that can work if you do maybe a side step or, or like a smaller step. It really all depends on the amount of movement. I think once you're walking, it needs a bit more work. I think what I'm looking at here... It works pretty well. I think if you're going just for mechanics, there's a little bit of a feel of you're going up with a little bit of a settle, a little bit down, and then we are slightly locked. I see some movement, but I think for you as an exercise, it would be good to, to get away from the holds, the static holds, um, since I think that's what we had in your in the previous class. I think that's something you've, you've been struggling with. It's just the, it's the locks. And I think it's, I would practice when the character goes up like this to have a bit of a moving hold this way. So not to go up and settle, but you're going up and then hold going this way. Like you don't settle and then do a moving hold the other way. So you go up with a slight hold, body-wise slight hold, and it's really tiny. It's, uh, it's something you need to practice where it's not a lock and it's not a drift. It's just that moving hold in between. And the same thing here. You have an upper arc that's fine in the head. What I would do, and that's something else that you've had in your previous shots, is where things are moving a bit too separately. I would love for this to be... I like that you have a slight move over. It, the head turn affects this to some degree. But I think I would go a bit further in terms of this is a pose, and then this is a pose in terms of affecting the rest a bit more. So when you have this, you can see how the lower neck is fairly stiff. And this is just a bit of a back and forth. So what I would do is you can have that upper arc, but then imagine that the neck will move forward a bit, right? It has a bit of a forward translate, or in this case, make sure it's a, it's a nice rotation. And then you will have a little bit of a slump in the shoulder, a little bit of a raise in the shoulder, and this will move over just a little bit, just a bit more of an adjustment so that you get away or, or out of your your previous habits that I've noticed in, in the classes we had together where it's all very separate and then it locks. I think moving holds and giving bigger post changes throughout the body, I think it would be a good exercise for you. The other thing when I'm looking at this here, it feels like this, this, like all of that is moving at the same time, which is another thing that we need to work on. It's just having you get out of the pose to pose method there where it's good for that's what I'm planning on doing. But you can do something where, well, if he's that concentrated, like if the body's towards us and he's that concentrated, you can say, well, maybe I'm really focusing on this. So when I turn, I'm going to move Maybe the shoulders first, like the upper body section first where the hands almost drag and the arms drag a bit more. And then you start swinging your arms and then you take that step. You can also have, you know, a change in this or maybe a gesture or flattening. I was like, whatever you want to do, but I would look at a body part is going to lead the action. As this is an exercise, I'm not super picky in terms of what will lead. Just to get you out of the feeling of not just separate body parts are moving, go beyond the pose to pose, and when something is moving and stopping, to not have it completely locked. I think these are the priorities for this workshop, I would say. Then when you do this, I think we're a bit early on the hips, because right now the weight is on here. 
as you move over here, we will be flat. This feels more balanced. Then as you are going over here, that's when we will hit the highest point because all the way is there. So I think we're on this a bit too soon, raising the hip side here. And I think when I look at this, it feels like the hips are, I don't know if it's straight. Like I see a, a quite an extension here. It almost feels like you want to rotate that hip in Y a bit more. Like, so you can see like this butt cheek would be here. You can almost feel, you know, a little butt crack here. And uh, so we feel the Y rotation here in the hips. And then watch out on that turn. There's a bit too much of a... I feel like a sudden speed up through there. And then a sudden slow down. It's not a, it's not a full stop. But it feels like we're, you're going somewhere. And then we're accelerating. And then we're really slowing down for a moment. And I would smooth that out. It's a, it's a small acceleration. You go up. Yes, it will accelerate a little bit. Because you're dropping. But then you can see how you suddenly have that overextension and then sudden pop in the knee. So that's going to be all altered by the root. I would just work on the root first, but I will give this probably a, a foot roll that's a bit sooner. So you don't have a full extension there. But again, your hip rotation is going to change the bend as well. And then I would smooth that out so you don't have that sudden drop and sudden stop here. But I think your, your up and down is okay. I look at like this is your passing and this is so you do have your up and down and why the other thing that feels a bit stiff is that even though I see rotation in the chest once you're done with that rotation right you're here and it feels like you're rotating too soon it feels like you're leading with the chest versus the arm is swinging and it's going to take the chest with it. So it feels like we're hitting that rotation too soon. And now you're stopping. It feels like we're stuck now in this rotation throughout. Actually throughout the rest of the shot. Which gives this also a bit of a mechanical feel. And then don't forget on your down here. You would have a little bit of a drag in the head. So it would go up a bit. Boom. Impact. Then rotate down a bit down drag here on the up and then as you go down here again it's off screen though it would rotate up again i think these are to me the major points so far that i would hit that makes sense and I'm, I'm looking mostly at mechanics and stuff and this is okay breaking into it you could also potentially bring it out and just work on full on clean silhouette but i'm not to me, it feels more like, like having worked with you before is that the mechanics are, are always the issue where it's, like I said, the separation, just to sum it up, separation, not full stops and getting out of the pose to pose on top of just all the nitty gritty of mechanics on the, as well. But I think it's good as a an exercise to choose, a sidestep and walk, all those you know things where you sit down and getting up and all those things are, are a really good idea. All right, hope that helps. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.